Hey guys, how you doing? Just uh, this is probably I think this is gonna be my first um, my first live event on Facebook. I had an attempt a few times before, but um, didn't quite sort of carry it off. But anyway, I'm in Tenerife for two weeks. Just got here yesterday. We're late Friday night. Happy Father's Day, guys, to all you fathers out there as well. I just 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 give my father a ring back in the UK. He's out in um, Tonopandi in South Wales. But uh, he's in the pub, he's had a few beers anyway, so he's celebrating on his own with, with a few of his mates. So I'm um, quite sad I can't be with my father on Father's Day. But anyway, hope you guys, all your fathers out there, are having a great time. Okay, just want a few problems with my phone here. So let me just check if um, I can see any of you guys coming online. Hi, Gene, I can see Gene and Carly, how are you doing? I'm working my phone upside down at the moment, and I got the sun right in my eyes. It's six o'clock in, uh, in Tenerife. I think that's the same time as in the UK. There's no change on on the actual um, the time there, so um, it's exactly the same time, time difference. As you can see, I burnt my shoulders, so I'm in a bit of a right mess at the moment. Walking around with a vest on all day yesterday. I did put sun cream on, but obviously not enough. So I, I got the sun cream packed on now today, and um, I, haven't been in the I haven't been in the sun all day today. I've been trying to keep in the shade, so in the last hour, between five and six o'clock, I've come onto the beach and um, went to the market. The, the, um, Spanish market this morning bought some sandals and shirts and trousers and things because I, I didn't, didn't bring much food with me um, much clothes with me and um, food wise yeah I've been eating too much already we got uh, half board bread and breakfast and evening meal we don't go for the all-inclusive that's too much but uh, we ended up in a three-star we thought we were going to end up in a four-star hotel but um, sadly it was a three-star hotel but uh, it's got the basic amenities there and um, some entertainment in the nights but uh, we normally go out in the nights anyway. Let me just take a look at this chat, guys. CJ Marlow, how are you doing? Send the sunlight here. Yeah, I got no idea where you are, CJ. I think, um, obviously, you're not having that much good weather by the sounds of it. Hi, Noel. Noel Curran, like this. Uh, I got three or four calls coming in. Can you believe it? Three or four people are trying to ring me from the UK. So if it blanks out, I'll try and come back later. I showed you 800 ad packs in my live feed today. Hope you don't mind. That's fine, Noel. As you, as you probably know, I started with 200 ad packs in FutureNet around about nine weeks ago, Future Ad Pro. I, I'm about, on about 815 ad packs as of today. So I bought another 15 ad packs since I've hit those 800. So it's all going good, guys, FutureNet. Really looking forward to it in the 1,000 ad packs. Gene, hi, Gene. How are you doing? Pouring down in Scotland. You're joking. Oh, my God. Okay. Don't forget, guys, I'm from where? Let me get this, ca this camera. Am I facing the right, the right way up, guys? I can't get the camera angle right on this. Um, I'm not sure if I should be using it sideways or, or front up, but um, anyway. As you know, guys, I'm from South Wales, um, a place called Tonopandi, originally in the valleys. Um, obviously, got a Welsh accent. Most people can't understand a word I'm saying, so to all you guys out there, I can't understand what I'm saying. Sorry about that. That's the way, um, that's the way it is with my accent in South Wales. But, um, I suppose we all got our, got our, um, our lingos, you know, the Scottish and the Irish, we all got um, different ways of speaking. So, but um, from a video point of view, guys, um, doing these videos, they are, I, I don't enjoy doing these videos, I've got to be honest with you, it's a comfort zone thing, so um, and a lot of people, they just don't want to do videos, you know, they, just, they don't want to take themselves out of that comfort zone. But from an internet marketing point of view and making money online, I think it is really key to try and do something rather than nothing, even if it's just one or two minutes, you know, just a testimonial on, on the business that you're in, just to get, get, get just to get people to know, like, and trust you. That's the key here. And um, I've been on the internet since 2000 and, uh, 2008. I actually lived in Spain between 2008 and 2010, two years in Spain, doing absolutely nothing. For well, the first six months, I did absolutely nothing. And um, I ended up then working for a property company because property is my background, obviously, in the UK. And, um, but yeah, I started to look for alternative ways to make money online back then. Got involved, lost a lot of money back in those days, 2008 to 2010. Got involved in a lot of schemes and scams. Uh, I did get involved with um, one or two businesses back then, 2011, 2012. But I started to get lucky and uh, I started to hit six figures back then. I'm not one of these gurus, you know, into the millions. And um, so uh, I've had my ups and downs with the internet, but it's only in the last um, sort, of, sort of the last year and a half that it started to um, take shape. And obviously now with FutureNet on board in the last um, couple of um, couple of weeks, 
I can see it getting even bigger. So let me go back to the chat guys here to see what I can see there. Okay, cheers Noah. Um, pouring down in, in, in Scotland, sorry about that Gene. Mark Lloyd, abs are looking great. I was I'm not sure about that Mark. Ten years ago I was in the fittest shape of my life when I met, I met my missus ten years ago, okay? Uh, ten years last uh, October, eleven years this October. And uh, I was in the best shape of my life then. Um, touching on about 15 stone and I was in the gym and circuits every day more or less. Just let, you'd be lucky if I take a day off on Saturday or Sunday. But the last, since I moved to Spain I started to put the weight on. And the last couple of years I've been putting more weight on. So that's another problem I got which um, I have to deal with sooner rather than later. I need to get back in shape. So I'm not going to put my stomach on this video that's for sure. So it may look I got some abs at the top. I have some shoulders and abs at the top. But the rest of it is, is not in good shape, Mark. <laughs> but anyway, I'll, I'll keep you updated on, on, on how, that, how the fitness goes and the diet goes. I'm trying to keep... I haven't eaten nothing since breakfast. I've had a banana and um, and one of those kiwi fruits this afternoon. That's all. I've had no bread this afternoon. I'm trying to keep my food down in the afternoon and ready for the evening meal tonight at the hotel. And I'm trying to stick on the wine rather than pints of beer, if you know what I mean. All those calories are, are, are no good at all for me. They just go straight to my stomach. It's crazy. Um, let's see what else we got here. How are you doing, Dev? I can see Dev has joined. Dev Thor, one of my guys in East London there. Hi, Dev. Ferez, how are you doing? Cameron Ashraf, top guy. How are you doing, Cameron? Oh, there's an event for LTW in, in Manchester. I did see that post, Cameron. Yes, tonight. Sadly, I can't make that, obviously. But I'm certainly going to take that to the next level when I get back. I'm looking forward to the LTW event on the 3rd of July, guys, in Birmingham. I'm going to be in Birmingham the 3rd of July. Let me know if you want to meet me in Birmingham. That's going to be a big day. 3 o'clock, this thing is kicking off. So um, that's an LT. That's all home shopping, guys. I got involved with a home shopping product a few weeks ago. My missus was very impressed with it, so I thought I'm going to come on board with this and help her as well because she needs something to do, and um, that's taken off quite well for my missus. And uh, the two of us are going to be working that together. That's, a, that's actually a home shopping product. I never in a million years thought I'd be involved in a home shopping product. I don't normally get in any product product based companies. They're all sort of, you know, virtual electronic products, sort of uh, cryptocurrency, gold, property, that and them type of things. That's that's my focus. But um, I'm actually involved in a home shopping product, um, home sh a home shopping product. So um, that's very interesting and I'm looking forward to building that over the coming months. So I'll see you in um, Birmingham, Cameron for that on the 3rd of July. Um, what else we got here? Fahiz, how are you doing Fahiz? How are you doing? We got Savia, Savia Lawrence, how are you doing there? Um, you say, apart from FutureNet, could you please list out all the other online companies you are involved in? Well, um, as, you all, as you all know guys, from a revenue share, traffic exchange point of view, I always think it's a good idea to get involved in a few of these things, traffic exchanges, revenue shares whatever you want to, um, to call that type of business. But uh, I, I joined these things just for the traffic. Yeah, the money is great. As you know, I joined my advertising page back in December 2013. And, I th and that's, that's what set, set everything up, I think, from, from um, a traffic exchange point of view. My advertising page started off. Everyone thought it wasn't going to last. And what are we now, two years, two and a half years down the line, and my advertising page is still going strong. I am still involved in my advertising page. I did build that to 800 ad packs back in the days. But I withdrew, withdrew everything out. I think I withdrew about 40 grand's worth, but uh, I've started to rebuild my advertising page purely for the traffic as well. So I, I'm using my advertising page to build FutureNet and other, and other, other businesses of mine. I got involved with Traffic Monsoon, as you know, uh, March 2015. I'm, I'm on pending at the moment, 3,000 ad packs, so I'm waiting for that to... Um, I'm still building and plugging and buying the cash links and uh, I'm still working with my team in Traffic Monsoon. But obviously FutureNet has come along a um, bit of a shock really, I didn't really want to take on another rev share. Traffic exchange but FutureNet came along, it was too good an offer to miss from a, a product point of view with the, the social media platform, that's the reason I joined. I would have joined FutureNet anyway, even without the money, just, just for the socialising side of things, okay? So uh, I'm, 20, I'm 25,000 withdrawn in FutureNet as we speak, and I'm up to 800 plus ad packs, so uh, I'm, I want to was, I hit at least $100,000 withdrawn in, in FutureNet um, over the next couple of months, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. I've actually taken on another rev share, um, crazily enough, um, two guys from the UK, 
Okay, company called Ten Ads Pay. I went to that meeting last week, met the owner of Paisa, Feroz Patel. That was a very interesting uh, event. And I spent time and lunch, I spent a lot of time with those guys and had uh, an Indian uh, lunch uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the night there in London. So um, that's something else I'm going to be adding to my portfolio as well. So I've got a few of these traffic exchanges on the go, guys, that's for sure. I'm spreading my risk. I'm using them mainly for traffic to build each other's business, you know? Right, so look at this. Go back to the chat here. Yes, Gene, that'd be great if you can come down from, if you can come down from Scotland on the 3rd of July. Look forward to meeting you there. Christian, yes, traffic monsoon is the best. It certainly is. It is, it is definitely up there with, with the best, that's for sure. But as I say, it's always a good idea to be involved in three or four of these type of um, program businesses. Spread your risk and, um, you know, I think that's a lot better than sort of keeping all your eggs in one basket and um, use each other to promote each other, basically. Right, guys, my traffic, my, um, my battery is going down. I only had about 15% when I started this, so um, my missus and the stepdaughter are still sunbathing there and we've got to head back to the hotel. I'm going out tonight for a few beers. I had too many, um, too many glasses of wine last night. Met up with two friends, um, Tessa and, and Bart, and um, they're living on the Costa del Sol. They are both in um, FutureNet, and um, we talked about rev shares and traffic exchanges, cryptocurrencies we talked about as well. They are big fans, they, they are big players in OneCoin. So we, me and my partner and the stepdaughter, we had a good night with Tessa and Bart last night. They were, they'd been here for about 10 days. They've just gone back to the Costa del Sol today. So. Um, it was a great um it was great to meet meet that couple what a lovely couple so anyway guys i'm gonna shoot off uh, i can see kapil has just joined so this has been recorded and um let me just check through the chat again yeah holidays thanks thanks for that christian like i said when he arrived uh, late, very late friday night sunday now so i'm here for two weeks i'm not a big fan of the heat i gotta be honest with you but um i make the most of it and just keep trying to top up get a bit of a tan over the next um, couple of um, days and um, try and keep the diet down. But I will be on, I'll be logging on to my computer every morning after breakfast about half past 10. I do an hour every morning. And I try, try and do an hour every night when I get back to the hotel just to keep up the things, you know, keep up on top of my emails and updates and things. So, let me just look at the chat again. Yeah, cheers Cameron, thanks for that, no worries. Okay, guys, I gotta go because the sun is in my eyes. I'm starting to sweat, so um, and I'm gonna be on that boat tomorrow. See that boat in the background? That boat takes off from the harbour every morning, and um, obviously it's coming back now. We're going on a boat trip um, over the next couple of days as well. Okay, guys, all the best, and um, I'll try. I may do another live Facebook tonight. I'm out for a few beers. We're gonna see one of our singers. One of our favourite singers, he sings a lot of Welsh songs, karaoke style, he's an entertainer as well. A guy called Gary Nelson, he's at the drop in on Las, Amer Las Americas Beach. So uh, we met him last Christmas, because don't forget we were in Tenerife last Christmas for, for a week. So we just visited in a, another part of Tenerife, which is the next resort down Los Cristianos, okay? So um, we'll be heading off into Las Americas tonight, 25 euros in a taxi. Okay, thanks a lot, guys, and. Um, I'll catch you in the next update where you may get a bit of live music, you never know. Okay, cheers there, bye.